Hola YouTube, my name is Ricardo Lino and I'm a will addict. So, Italy is known for making some of the best shoes in the world. Everyone knows it. Liners are shoes inside skates. So the new Rosses liner should be the best liner on the market. Well, not so fast. That's what we're going to discuss in this video. Stay there and enjoy it. When I first saw this liner, I was very, very excited and I contacted them and they sent it to me for free. So I did not pay for this liner. I think it's important for you guys to know that I didn't pay for it. Now, whatever I'm going to talk about in this video, it's my most honest opinion about this product right here. Today, we're gonna be talking about this and about all of this. Them, Intuition Liner, Intuition V2, my Fit SPC, Rain V3, My Fit Second Skin, and the Seba For Use. I think that's the name of it. These are supposed to be the high end liners on the market, or at least the best liners that each one of those brands are bringing. Now, some of these brands, like Intuition, they only make liners. My feet, they only make liners, and Ryan only make liners. Roses is known for making skates, but they made this liner. So let's discuss about the liner. First thing you're gonna notice about this liner, it's obviously the price. It's probably the only liner on the market competing with this price wise. Other than the price, obviously, if you're gonna order it online, especially with COVID. Once you get your hands on this liner or once you saw, see someone with this liner or if you have the possibility to see a liner, the RL liner in a shop, once you hold it, you gotta feel exactly what I'm saying right now. This feels quality. It does not feel at all like the Intuition liner, even if the price is a bit steep for most of the people when it comes to a liner, but it does not feel like an Intuition liner at all. Yes, the material that you have in some parts of the liner, especially on the inside, it's this lycra with some hard density foams on the inside that somehow feels like intuition, but it's not like that all over the liner because in the heel area, they use this not so soft material. It's more like hard to explain. I, I can't say it like it's sandpaper, obviously, but it does not feel as smooth as this. <laughs> That's my dog's toy. If you remember the, the Shima liner that felt something like this, this is the complete opposite in the heel area. I don't know if the expression is abrasive. I don't know if that's the expression. But I think the whole goal with this is to create um, a material here in the back that would give more grip to your heel, that would make your heel stay in position. We will talk about it in a second. I'm just describing the liner and I will talk about if it works or not. So something else that I thought was interesting is that this liner doesn't have possibility for you to put the shock absorption outside the liner. Most of these liners that I just showed you, they either have like a little Velcro or they come with a, a glued uh, shock absorbers. This one doesn't. It just brings a little bit of rubber in the whole sole. And obviously it's rubber. So if you put a, a shock absorber in the skate, if the liner is well inserted in the skate shouldn't be a problem i don't think that the sh i don't think the shock absorber will move i did change the insoles i got some super fit here but the the ones that come on these they're, they're good i don't have anything to complain about it. let me show them to you yeah this is something also cool when you buy one of these liners they come in a box they come in a 
paper box and then there's like a little window here where you can see what's inside in this box i kept two things i kept the insoles which have these they're very slim the insole is very very slim and i actually like super slim insoles because i don't want the insole to take a lot of space inside the liner especially on the intuitions i don't even use any any insole but the insole is super slim and then in the back it has this white material with some holes which is a hard density foam you can feel it right away so it's you can you can you can fold it but you see that it has a shape to it and then it has a little heel pad out of a harder material that should work as a shock absorber then these were the laces that came in the in the liner they're super slim i didn't really enjoy the laces i think they're, they're quality laces but at the same time something that i really enjoyed about this liner it's the lacing system it's called tri hold lacing system by roses and what this means is that there's a lace that goes from this part like from a little bit in the front of your heel that goes all the way here and then there's also another lace that goes on your Achilles tendon here through the back to the other side so imagine the laces go like these and they make a lace loop at the end here and another lace loop here so when you tie these laces it creates a, a lock around your heel that's quite cool but when i when i tightened them a lot i kind of felt a little bit too much pressure in here in the heel so i think there's something that i could do about it i could probably just create a little knot here so it would still bring the liner into me without pressuring my achilles but it really works i think it's something that i can adjust very easily as i was saying i really really enjoy the lacing system because it was very very easy to integrate with most of the boots that i skate i skated these liners in the dam skates i skated them in the m12s i skated them in some rollerblade solos i skated them in the micro beats i've been skating them also on my favorite urban skate on the market this is like a customized micro delta f that i got it to skate and if you guys saw one of my last reviews the damn 909 review i actually said that i've tried all these liners that i just showed you and this was the liner that i enjoyed the most inside that skate now if i'm going to talk about the m12 when i made the joe atkinson frame review yeah it's the same it just feels so good inside all of those skates so it's it, it's weird it's what i can say about this liner that how it felt to me is that straight out of the box i did not had to break into the liner straight out of the box i felt like a broken in intuition if that makes sense you know when you skate into an intuition after a while it starts feeling very good this is somehow how it felt to me now the real test of this liner i would say it's going to be if it's going to last as long this is a almost two year old liner that i've been skating from skate to skate and yes it has some use to it you see all these colors because i painted it not because but quality wise and structure wise it's still there it kind of feels like it only got better when i said that that felt better the older it gets this, that's how this felt straight out of the box now i believe that it's not going to feel like that to everyone example the front area of this liner, it's like, I know that some people like a little bit more, I wouldn't say support, but they would like to feel a little bit snuggier in the front. It has pros and it has cons. Obviously that snugginess, if, is this even a word? I don't even know. But like that snug feeling that you would feel with the intuition in the front area, it's harder to achieve with this because of the Lycra. 
it's going to feel in the front it's going to feel a bit more like a like a my fit liner or even like a Ryan V3 which I said it before it was one of my favorite liners this liner is awesome for downsizing just like the rain v3 was then if i'm going to compare it again with the intuition something that until now i've been enjoying it a lot and that's probably me i i, I think this is something that a lot of people wouldn't speak about but i said it a couple of times one of the things that frustrates me about the intuition liners it's the smell <laughs> if you skated it often it's going to start smelling and it's i don't yeah i know like example uh, joey from mushroom blading and a couple more guys have said it and some of the guys even commented on some of my videos saying that hey if you just buy like a a, a dryer like a ski dryer or a liner dryer it's it's a game it's a game changer you'll never have that problem again i believe so but the thing is they don't sell them in portugal because there's no snow here but maybe that would be a good option but yeah they don't stink that's a good thing then it's all about details there's so many details like the whole back of the liner this whole line that you see here it kind of feels like silicone printed i don't know if this makes sense but it's kind of like a it kind of feels like a whole line of um hard neoprene and then that hard neoprene is printed with silicone that gives a lot of stickiness to the liner so the liner will stay in the right position now this is in my opinion where the problem can come this part stays in the liner there's no movement at all from the liner but if you don't integrate the laces right then the material inside the material that i spoke previously the one that it's a bit harder that I even said I compared it a little bit with with sandpaper I felt that that material was actually more slippery than the lycra so I didn't felt a lot of grip from that material and especially when this area is very grippy my heel if this wasn't tight enough could come up but if I would integrate these laces properly if i would lace the liner properly then no problem at all so i can tell you that one of my favorite ways to skate this liner was actually lacing it all the way up especially on aggressive skates lacing it properly using the beginning like this the first lace loop here from the from the liner as a 45 degree strap to keep my heel in the right position and to to give that heel box a proper lock and then tie the liner on top and then leaving the the buckle of the skate a little bit looser and in my them review liner i was actually doing front side torques with a flat setup which i usually struggle but i was doing it proper good i know that if i would tight my my cuff a lot would probably be a bit harder but if i would have my loose cuff and the liner that wouldn't give me the support then it wouldn't feel good so yeah it felt super super good now i'm gonna keep talking about details and there's a, a super interesting detail there's an elastic here in the front and this elastic if i turn it around this elastic it's once again printed with the same silicone that i just said here in the back super cool this will make the the tongue stay in the right position which is something that i really appreciate now i'm gonna go back to the lacing system and again because i can't really stop talking about the lacing. it's a fast lacing system and usually fast lacing systems are not my favorites <laughs> it's just the way it is i usually think it's if it's easy to pull it's also easy to get loose but i've been skating with wax laces and i had no problems with that now i believe that if you have the wrong laces that might be the case easy to tight easy to <laughs> to get loose what else the front area of the liner from this elastic up it's stiff it has like a it, it is still foam but it's a super hard density foam the whole liner it's actually very very slim if I hold um, this is the dem 
Intuition Liner and this is the Roses RL1 Liner. The Roses RL1 Liner, it's slimmer. In this area, it's for sure slimmer than the, the Intuition Dam Liner. They kind of feel like not as structured, at least not as structured as the, the Dam Intuition. Now, if I hold the V2 Intuition, I would say that the area without the wrap has about the same stiffness and probably a little bit thicker than the Rosie's RL1 liner. But please keep in mind that this is a two year old liner. Huh? Size wise, I think that's important too. I got the large liner and I got the Intuition M liner and you can see just the sole itself it has about a centimeter difference. This is where it gets complicated for some people. The large liner should be for a nine, nine and a half M12 or for a seven, eight fifth element. This is something that it's a bit complicated from the Rosie's liner, which is the sizing. They are at the moment, they're only giving you the sizing or the of the M12 and of the fifth element liner but if you go on the website you will find that they also have the the mondo size which is in cent in millimeters or in centimeters and in my opinion that makes that makes more of a difference i think you want to buy them by the length of your foot more than actually if you're gonna have on m12 or a fifth element because as i just said they work very very good in a, a lot of different skates these lace loops on top they have this piece of leather i, th I, don't, I don't think it's leather because roses have been like very non-leathery <laughs> they've been using a lot of echo leathers but these pieces that they have here this triangle on top makes it feel like this is not going anywhere. Even the material used for these lace loops, you know that sometimes you might be like, yeah, what if this breaks? It doesn't have a lot of stitching, but it doesn't feel like it's going to break at all. It has a couple of holes all around the liner. It doesn't have as many holes as the Intuition liner, but it has some, some holes here in the front. It has some ho holes in the insole, some on the side, like by the inside of your foot, a little bit some on the outside. I didn't felt like it's not breathable enough, especially if it has this neoprene piece in front. Obviously, the neoprene will be a lot more breathable than this material. Something that it's interesting is that this liner is actually lower than the Intuition liner. And now, please have in mind that the Intuition comes with a shock absorber. This one doesn't. So if you don't use the shock absorber, in a lot of the skates, it's going to feel like it's a little bit too low. Example, on my M12s, I do have a couple of M12 Pro models, but I've been skating lately the UFS M12, which is the, the most affordable one, the all black most affordable one, that has that cuff that it's a little bit higher. I had to cut my cuff in order to fit this. But obviously, I really like the low profile. As I just said on my last damn skates review, I really enjoy the low profile of these. Even when skating with big wheels, even with big wheels, it doesn't come up too high. Then the, I don't know if here, a lot of brands have been calling these just the, <laughs> the skate carrier. It feels sturdy enough for you to pull without being scared of ripping it like it happened with the V1 rain liners. Now, if I'm gonna be looking at the height of these liners, it's the exact same height, even with a V-cut, as the Rain v liners. Comparing it with the second skin liners from MyFit, as you can see, the boot itself, like the side of the liner, it's about one centimeter lower, but this one doesn't have a V-cut, so this is a full-on straight liner, and this one has a V-cut, so in the back, it's a lot lower. If I compare it with the four years liner from Seba, the four years liner from Seba, it's about two, almost two fingers 
taller. It's yeah, it's one thumb. And then in the back, just by the by the V cut, it's still like another thumb. So it's a full on inch taller than the RL liner. Even this one is it's not what we're doing here, but it's yeah, it's even like one and a half to two centimeters taller than the V2 Intuition liner. Now my final thoughts about this liner. It's a light liner, super breathable. You hold it, you feel quality. It doesn't stink. It is very good for downsizing. It's a low profile liner. You can completely trust on this um, strap here in the back, even to put the skates on. I like the stiffness of the tongue in the front and the lacing system, it's, it's the highlight of this liner. So 160 euros, I think it's actually worth it. It's a steep price for a liner, but we all know that this is an amazing liner that costs 200 and if this costs 200, I would say that even the 200 on these wouldn't be too much. So a little bit cheaper than Intuition and yes, a completely different liner, but a super high quality product. Any cons about this liner would probably be the laces that come with it. I don't really like the laces. I think they're too slim. I would change the laces. And here in the back, for some people, I believe that if you tie them too, if you tie too much, it might pressure a little bit into your Achilles. Other than that, yeah, a little bit of Velcro in the back for a shock absorber wouldn't kill anyone. Maybe the Ricardo Lino Liner 2, the RL2, will have these things a bit different. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. You can also become a member of this channel by pressing on that join button. There's three different perks for for all of you guys out there. If you want to have access to exclusive content or even make private lessons with me, that's where you need to, to click that join button. Other than that, well, if you like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, you can give me a thumbs down. Let me know what you didn't like about this video. And just like I always say, don't ever forget why we all started skating. And that, that is because it's fun. Cheers and see you soon. That is it. You got a little longer, so it seems.